Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video for you guys um, over a bag that has been really popular in the past couple weeks and that is this little cute bag right here which is the Coach Pillow Tabby 18 in the color Pale Lime with Silver Hardware. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a quick little review about this bag showing you guys the details, um, some quick comparisons next to the larger Pillow Tabby bag and what my thoughts are at the end. So hopefully this video was helpful if you're interested, and if you are interested, um, do you stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you like these kind of videos, um, do consider liking, subscribing, because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, um, do consider liking, subscribing, and you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag-related content. Okay, so when it comes to Pillow Tabby 18, as you can see, the bag itself is relatively simple in its design. Um, there isn't like a ton of excessive details about this bag. Um, for example, like the front, all you really have is the C buckle here that is in the leather covered detail. Um, and on the back, there is no back pocket. It is just going to be all leather, um, just like the original Pillow Tabby bags. And the only um, other pieces of hardware are going to be on the side of the bag here like so. And that is just mainly um, this ring detail here and this bar hardware that is used to keep the um, attachment in place for the shoulder strap and crossbody strap. And then you do also get a hang tag as well on the side. And it is um, also going to be super squishy and puffy. And it is actually very like 3D as well, which is kind of cool. Um, on the back, it's plain, but on the front here, it just says Coach New York. When it comes to the bottom of the bag, there is like no feet. It is just going to be the leather base itself. And then the top handle, as you can see here, is also going to be in that puffy effect. So um, it is going to be a little bit stuffed here. It has a seam running down the middle and then edge paint on the bottom. And I'm trying to think what else. Um, that's basically it for the main details of the bag. Um, the leather choice that um, Coach has gone with here for like the body of the bag is going to be a Napa leather. So it is super soft and squishy. And as you can see, um, it is very malleable and pliable as well. And getting inside the bag is pretty easy. All you have to do is just lift this little um, magnetic clasp right here, which is underneath the C buckle. And as you can see on the front of the bag, you do get a fairly large magnetic base um, that is engraved with coach at the bottom. And this is what the magnetic base looks like underneath the C tab. And then on the inside of the bag, it is completely lined in leather and it is in the matching green um, leather as well. And I think all the pillow tabby bags, um, the um, interior leather will match the exterior leather as well. So for this one is in the pale lime green color and you do get two sections with this bag. So you have a front compartment here and a back compartment as well that is divided with this non-functional divider. Um, and it is non-functional just because it isn't like a pocket or a zip compartment. Um, it is just leather, literally a like leather panel that divides the two compartments. And then in the back here, you do get a little slip pocket. And all I have in here is just the care instructions and um, the price tag to the bag. And this part is going to be lined in fabric, actually. And then the front of that little slip pocket, you do get a story patch um, with the style number to the bag that is right there. So yeah, that's about it for the inside of the bag. And then you do also get a longer crossbody strap with this bag as well. And as you can see, you do have seven adjustments. So you can make this as long or as short as you need be. And all you have to do to adjust it is just move um, the buckle right here in the center. And it is also engraved with coach on this side. And for me, I just have it at the middle setting, which is how um, it came with like from the packaging. And um, for reference, I'm about 5'7 and 210 pounds. So for me, this is a really good length crossbody or just like long over the shoulder as well. And then just to attach it onto the bag, you do have these little clasps right here on the sides in the same matching silver hardware. And there's that one. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the Pillow Tabby 18. Okay, so here are like the items that I would typically carry with me on a daily basis. Um, so I have my keys, my little card case, and I just have the signature jacquard one. 
um, my coin pouch and this is um, the medium like coin pouch from a couple years ago and a chapstick. So here's everything inside the bag. So I have my card case and coin pouch in the front compartment like so and then I have um, the chapstick and the card case in the back compartment and I can easily close this bag um, just like that and as you can see there are no distortions and nothing is like sticking out of the bag. And um, just because the leather is super soft and squishy, um, I feel like it does hide a lot of the distortions just because the leather is able to mold around your um, items pretty easily like so. And then when it comes to like my phone, I actually usually um, carry my phone in my hand. Um, and I also am using my phone to film, so I'm playing with my phone case. But I usually just have it in my hand to save space on this bag, just because it is a pretty small bag. And I am, you know, able to fit my phone in here comfortably. But I feel like that takes up like the whole compartment. So to, you know, um, deal with that and to like save space, I usually just hold my phone in my hand um, throughout the day. And then I just have this back compartment um, empty here so I can put SLGs or like my car keys and chapstick. So yeah, that's that. And here's a quick look at the two pillow tabby bags next to each other. So this is the new smaller 18 size and this is the larger um, pillow tabby shoulder bag. And this is also like the original model. So as you can see, the two bags next to each other basically look the exact same. It's just that this one is the smaller version of this one. Um, but there, you know, also is the obvious like significant size difference. Um, so if you are somebody who needs to carry a lot with you on a daily basis, I would say just go ahead and get the larger pillow tabby bag just because number one, it does fit a lot more items. And number two, you do get an extra compartment on the inside um, with the center zip section. So if you want a little bit more organization space and like an extra compartment, um, I would say go ahead and just get the larger one to, you know, um, gain that extra capacity, um, versus the smaller one. So yeah, there's that. And then when it comes to like styling the Pillow Tabby 18, um, one of my favorite ways I've been carrying this bag is actually with this really cute pearl bag strap that, um, I got the idea from like one of you guys. So she sent me a photo of her Pillow Tabby. I think she has the taffy one and the green one as well. And she bought this pearl bag strap with it and it looks really cute with it. So I thought I'd order it and um, see what it looks like on the smaller one. And I think it looks really cute. So every time I carry it um, like as a top handle bag like so, I just usually add on this pearl bag strap because it looks really good just like um, on the front like so as like a decorative feature. And I don't know, it just gives the bag a very like cute, quirky look to it. And it just looks very like happy and ready for spring and summer. Um, so it's like super cute like that and if you want this pearl bag strap, um, it is just like on Amazon I think it was only like $13 or like $12.99 So if I find the link for it, I'll put it in the bio of this video and also um, This bag strap also does come in gold hardware as well So if you do have like um, the pillow tabby and ivory or rouge, I know those come with the brass hardware um, so you can get the you know, bag strap, but with like the gold class instead of the silver class. The other way I like to carry this bag too is with this um, really cute silver bag chain from Coach. And this is um, just like the dinky bag strap. And it is just, you know, an all silver like hardware chain strap. But I think it gives the bag a little bit more of dimension and also makes the bag look a little bit more dressy as well. Um, just because I feel like the Pella Tabby can be, you know, super casual. So um, with the addition of this chain strap, I feel like it makes it look a little bit more fancy. So yeah. Okay, so when it comes to Pella Tabby 18, um, I think this is probably my favorite bag in my collection at the moment. That's how much I love this bag. Um, it is so cute and adorable and I don't know, there's just something about the color. This like pale lime color is so good and I'm very happy they paired it with silver hardware as well. Um, I feel like if they paired it with like the gunmetal or the brass hardware, it might have looked kind of like odd with this bag or kind of like too heavy handed. Um, but with the silver hardware against this really pale green, I feel like it makes the bag look really light and refreshing. And I don't know, since we're moving to like summer, I feel like this is like a really cute bag for summer. Um, so yeah. 
And the other reason why I like this bag so much too is that it is a very versatile handbag. Um, number one is that you do get two strap options. So you have the leather top handle strap here like so, and then the cross body strap as well. So that is nice that you do have options um, just so if you want to carry it like as a top handle bag, you can use the short strap or you can use the longer cross body strap if you just want it to be like a cross body bag for that day. Um, and it is a really easy bag to style too. Like you can use different bag straps with it. So you really are able to change the look of this bag pretty easily. Um, so I do love that. And the other thing I like about this bag too is the size. Um, I know that a lot of people will say that like the larger pillow tabby bag is a little bit too bulky. So you do want that pillow tabby look. Um, you can just get the smaller one like this one here and still, um, you know, get the pillow tabby vibe, but it doesn't have to be like oversized and big like the original model. So love that as well. And I do want to address one more question before I end the video, and that is in regards to color transfer. So as you can see on the back of the pillow tabby bags here, um, I have not had any color transfer on the ivory one or um, this green one right here. And as you can see, I feel like it looks pretty good. And I do wear a lot of denim as well. And here is the bottom of the bags. So yeah, there's that. So that does it for today's video over the Pillow Tabby 18 in the color pale line. Um, hopefully you guys found this review helpful if you were interested in a review about this bag. Um, but if you do have any questions um, still about this bag or anything I mentioned in today's video, please do leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out that way. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to reply back to you there. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this video enough to consider liking and subscribing. And remember to also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!